Becoming great requires several factors. To name a few. The resolve to never give in. And the reserve to endure staggering defeat, bad luck, calamity, chaos, and disruption. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you declare the Lord, plans for welfare, and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. In the world that we live in today, we have to understand that we face continuous uncertainty. That we cannot control or accurately predicts. And sometimes the secret of success and becoming great lies in between uncertainty. For example, in the world today several factors are affecting growth, but many view these as lack of money. Lack of money is never a problem. Lack of money is only the symptom, or better still the result of lack of solutions. It is imperative we know this. That is why this video is very important. None of us can predict with certainty the twists and turns our lives will take. Life is so uncertain and the future unknown. 2 Chronicles chapter 2 verse 5. The house which I am about to build will be great. For greater is our God than all the gods. With this assurance from the Lord. Yet the task still remains. How to be successful and become great. Uncertainty and chaos have served only to reinforce the sense of unease. Which trigger the question, what comes next? And honestly, no one knows. But yet some people navigate this period exceptionally well and create, thrive, prevail and survive. This brings us to the question of how? They start small, before going big. By starting small they are able to adjust and try again when miss the target. In another words, they did not put all their eggs in one basket at once and try carrying them. They start small and check along the way if their conversion merit going big. They do not wait to be perfect to start. And when they start, they do not hype. For it is better to underestimate their success than overestimating it. They choose a team that they can get stranded with. For any good team is as strong as its weakest member. They learn from other great men, and gain wisdom. They also observe what worked for them. Figure out why it worked, and build upon proven foundations. And accepting the Lord's instructions according to the word of the living God in Proverbs chapter 19 verse 20. They are more disciplined. They are more irrationally anxious. And they are more skeptical. Discipline is key in finding success and becoming great. What I mean in essence is. They are consistent in their actions. Consistent with their long time goals. Consistent with their values. Consistent with their performance standards, methods and consistent over time. Once they beat the odds. They gain confidence that they can do it again and again. They take note. When things begin to change for good or bad rapidly. They don't panic. They are disciplined and don't take reactive decisions. If the change is for good. They repeat what they are doing over again and again. Until they grow evidently for next level. If the change is for bad. They check how much time before the risk takes effect. And they are deliberate and clear-headed in responding. They respond in a smart and rigorous strategies. They don't panic and get carried away. They discipline their thoughts and actions. For tomorrow belongs to the people who prepare for it today. As we cannot predict the future. But the beautiful part is we can create it today. We might sometimes come under attacks. Or merely shocked. Astonished. Confounded. Stunned. Terrified or even delighted, but rarely are we prescient. The secret of success and becoming great still remains, never to quit. We have to first understand honestly that success seems to be largely a matter of hagging on. And be ready for your opportunity when it comes. You must also be ready to do the things you think you cannot do. For challenges are what makes life interesting. Overcoming them makes life meaningful. 
remember the greatest use of life is to spend it for something that will outlast it. Your constant and determined effort will break down all resistance and sweep away all obstacles. Also remember where you start is not as important as where you finish. I believe, it's the simple things in life, that are the most extraordinary. For great things can be done by series of small things brought together. Be aware. Defeat, is certain, for him who has neglected to take precaution in time and rather blame others for their failures. I call this bad luck. And victory awaits him, who has everything in order. I call this luck.